Okay, so here she is. I don't know how well you can see this. It's kind of dark in the garage. But one thing I wanted to bring to your attention is this outer piece. This is actually part of the electric focuser. It's screwed onto the back of the telescope. And this is what you screw the electric focuser motor onto. And right next to it, there's a little hole. And I'm putting a bolt in here. I don't know if you can see this or not. But that bolt is to lock down the mirror. So I've turned this all the way clockwise and that brings the mirror up to the back of the cell and then this bolt will go in the hole. This is the wrong one, sorry. Anyway, there's a bolt that goes in that hole that sort of just locks it into position so it doesn't jiggle around when it's shipping. There's a Celestron 2 inch diagonal on the back. I'm going to ship it with that on the telescope. The finder scope is down here, and in the other corner is the electric focuser. See the cord for it on top there? Here is the dew shield rolled up. It may or may not be in this exact position when, the, when you get it. And underneath these foam pieces in the back, there's a small box. That box has the two rings for the guide scope in it. They're bubble wrapped individually and sealed in that box. So when you get this, I'll have this all packed up and then there's another piece just like this and you can see the shape of it actually is for the whole, this is where the computer box used to go and then the fork mounts went here. So you see then it holds, it really only holds it tightly up here where the tube is. So I'm going to stuff all this area in here with I don't know what I've got some couch cushions or lawn furniture pedals or something that doesn't weigh very much that will just keep it from jiggling back and forth in the box on the way to you and then this box is actually two boxes this one inside which is in very nice condition is actually the box that it came in that's the interior shell and so that lid will go over it and then this outer shell, this is what this is what the box will look like when it comes to you. will have a mountain of duct tape on it holding it all together. So basically it's a box inside a box. And like I said, when you get it, this extra piece of foam will be on top, closing the box up. And then you'll take this lid off, and then you should be able to find everything just as I put it in there. The uh, owner's manual, I'll probably just stick right on top of the top foam before I put the box lid in. And I got that over here. There's a lot of stuff in here that has to do with the computer part of it, but it also has, you know... Um, like the instructions for shipping it and how you how you put the bolt in and also instructions on how to collimate it and focus and attach the visual back and some other stuff that's relevant to this telescope and since I don't need it anymore um, I'm figured I'll just throw that in with it um, I guess that's about it the rings that you're getting are kind of like these rings they're not Lasmandi they're ADM these are Lasmandi rings but same thing um, I guess that's about it. I'm trying to be in a good mood even though the asphalt contractor that is here ran over my lilac hedge on his way out with his big truck yesterday. I got a feeling I'm going to be firing these guys before noon. So I thought I'd get this out of the way this morning and uh, I saw that you actually mailed me a copy of the of the check so I may just get this in the yeah, down to the UPS store today and just ship it. I mean, you know, you trust me enough to send the money, I can trust you enough to ship the telescope. So as soon as I've got a, got a way to do that, depends on whether I fire these idiots who are working on my place or not. If they put a new driveway in, I'll have to wait until Wednesday to ship it because I won't be able to get out of the garage. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, hope everything arrives safely, and uh, good luck.